Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make Cuban boliche. And for my Spanish speaking subscribers, voy a subir otro video muy pronto. He estado muy ocupado con mi proyecto, pero prometo hacerlo. Boliche. Okay. Boliche is made with beef pot rolls. Also, it's made with two chorizo sausages that are stuffed in the, the pot rolls. Um, the important thing about the chorizo that you have to do is you have to peel the skin back. If you don't peel the skin back, it'll be really tough. So, you also need ajo, um, garlic, about six to eight cloves of garlic. You need potatoes cut in quarters, white potatoes cut in quarters. You need flour because you need to dredge the, um, the pot rolls in flour so that you can brown it on both sides, all sides. You also need white wine. Well, traditionally red wine is used, but today I'm using white wine. You also need a teaspoon of tomato paste, two tablespoons of olive oil, six to eight stuffed olives. You need celery chopped in pieces. You need onions chopped in quarters, tomatoes chopped in quarters, uh, we don't traditionally use peppers, but I love peppers, so I'm adding red peppers to make a sofrito and green peppers to make a sofrito. Also, you need carrots cut up in pieces, and you need, for the dry ingredients, you need salt and pepper, you need cumin, about um, a half teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of oregano, you need a teaspoon of bay leaf. You need also a few sprigs of parsley. And lastly, for the dry ingredients, you need beef broth. Um, what I'm having tonight with the boliche is black beans. I'm having black beans and, and also white rice. And um, I'm going to also have plantains, sweet plantains. Okay, so we're going to begin. So it's very important that you dry it as much as you can. Once we remove this, then we'll be ready to dredge it, put some flour over it, and then we can sear it on all sides. So I'm just going to throw this away and go wash my hands. It's very important that you wash your hands when you're touching raw meat because you can transfer bacteria from the uh, meat onto other surfaces. And and also you can get very sick. Okay, so I'm just gonna dry my hands. I cut a hole in the roast beef and removed a piece of the skin so that I can make a hole deep enough so that the chorizo sausage could fit. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in now. So you just stuff it as far as you can. Try to stuff both of them in if you can, if it fits. Yeah, like that. See? like this and you try to push it back as, as far as you can okay now the the meat that you have left over you can put that also inside the pot you don't want to waste the meat so this can also be inside the pot so before I uh, put it in the pot I have to put flour on it so then I can dredge it on all the sides okay okay so now I'm going to dredge the pot roast and I'm going to put flour all over it so that when I brown it, each side would have a little bit of flour all over. And also, the flour thickens the uh, gravy. So that's why it's very important to have the uh, flour on the pot roast. Okay, so I'm going to put it inside the pan now so that it can sear. So we have to see that. And then this little piece right here that we have, you can actually just throw this inside if you want. It doesn't really matter. You can just put that inside and see that also. Um, I'm going to add the celery. I'm going to add the tomatoes, the diced tomatoes. Well, the chopped tomatoes. I'll put that inside. I'm going to add potatoes. I'm going to drain this first. Okay. 
Okay, I have to add the carrots. Okay. Okay. The tomato paste, which I need a spoon for. Okay. Let me see if I can use this. I just need a teaspoon of. Okay, I rinse this off. Okay, so I just need a teaspoon of this, the tomato paste. I already put the uh, tomato sauce in, so now it's just adding the uh, paste. Okay. And let's see. have the olives to add in. And we have the dry ingredients now. Okay, this is the parsley. This is the bay leaf. This is the salt. So everything basically goes in. So let me just throw that inside. Some people put a rub all over the uh, the pot roast. They rub it all over the uh, pot roast before they uh, sear it. But um, I do mine's different. And this is also the uh, beef broth. Okay. So I have to add to this two cups of water. I'm going to set this for about 45 minutes. And I have to, um, you see this right here? You, If you have a pressure cooker, you want it to be airtight. You know, because if you don't have it airtight, the, the, the air, the steam rather, the heat will come escaping out of it. And it won't cook the uh, pot roast. So, you want to keep it airtight. Okay. Now I'm going to set this to meat. Okay, so now we're going to take out the boliche and we're going to plate it. And um, I forgot to mention that I had to cook this about 20 minutes more. So, it was a total of an hour. But it beats spending four hours uh, in the kitchen cooking this in the oven. Okay, it's very tender. See, it's breaking up. Well, that's how you want it to be. You want it to be tender, but not really falling apart, but you want it to be tender enough that when you slice it, that you have like the pieces like this. You see this? Look how delicious this is. See that? Okay, this is boliche, Cuban style. See that? Mm. 